this is a World War II British Armed Forces emergency ration. It was designed for all branches as a general purpose survival ration that was issued to every soldier. And there's the patent number on the back. It was produced November 1942. Now this ration's purpose was to provide a lightweight, last ditch effort, full day's worth of food when no other food source was available. It says right on the front, purpose of contents, to be consumed only when no other rations of any kind are procurable. To open, strip off band, insert coin and corner groove and turn. Notice, not to be opened except by order of an officer. Now here's the tab. Alright, so let's give it a look. Look at that. Wow, so it's a bloomed chocolate bar. And you know, there's like one piece of like rust on the inside, right here and here. The kind of stain on the chocolate. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Look at this, there's a rubber gasket on the inside. That really kept an airtight seal. For being 75 years old, actually this chocolate looks incredible. Look at that old cellophane wrap. Check that out. Look at the imprint. That's a very faint smell of chocolate. You know, you're in a survival situation. You're you're trying to survive. I feel like there's only one thing missing. All right, so let's get this out on your tray. Nice. Okay, so then the chocolate here. Let's try and get it out of this can. That that didn't work out so well. I mean. You're already hungry. It's like, imagine how upsetting it is. I'm trying to like shoehorn the chocolate bar out. There it is. This is the British equivalence to the USD ration bar of the same era. This thing's more dense though. Definitely a piece of tropical chocolate, which means it's able to withstand tropical temperatures. So, if you were out in the desert or in a jungle, this bar isn't going to melt. Hence, the term tropical chocolate. That old cellophane, it's not super brittly, but you can tell that the cellophane has a little bit of age to it. Now, one source mentioned this chocolate contained 400 milligrams of caffeine. Actually, look at that. You know what? The cellophane protected it. That's fantastic. Check that out. You see that? This chocolate's gonna be fine. Let's try this little bit right here. Hmm. You know, that's not very enjoyable at all. But, oh wow. Actually, that's, look at that thing. That's a shiny corner right there. It's like smooth to touch. You can see it's sectioned off there. Really ch see the, the scoring when it left that imprint, but because it bloomed, the scoring is not as evident now. And yes, that is some very bloomed chocolate. It was developed to not be overly palatable. It's not very sweet, and there's a sugar in it that's extremely granular, like it's not mixed in well. It does smell like chocolate to some degree. It also kind of smells like bread. Yeah, so this thing was designed to not be super palatable. They didn't want a soldier to just open this thing up random because it was a tasty piece of chocolate. It's just like the D-ration bar of the same era, uh, same exact time in the US. This is the, the British D-ration bar, essentially. Tastes like you're biting into a 
a hot chocolate bar. This thing seems like it's been bolstered with something and it tastes like there's some vitamins in it as well. It's slightly bitter, which so that account of the having caffeine in it is, um, we'll find out because I'm going to eat this whole bar. I mean, 400 milligrams of caffeine is a lot, so, and you were um, instructed to eat the bar slowly and over the course of the day. Now, I read about a paratrooper that was, that was issued one of these, and he ate it before his drop, and he ate it before he even was in combat. And then there was another guy that had one of these that was starving in combat, and because he was not instructed by an officer, he ended up, he ended up never eating it, and he saved it for his whole life. And he passed away in 2002. It's weird. It's like a really dense, kind of satisfying piece of chocolate. Even though it's bloomed, it feels like I'm biting into a bar of hot chocolate, if that makes any sense. Something that's like held a few packets of hot chocolate together in a cube. And you bite into it and it just breaks down into this granular, not overly sweet, you know, milk chocolate, essentially. And it's, it's not waxy. There's nothing in it that makes it seem real or anything. It's, it's pretty good chocolates. The more I eat it, the more enjoyable it gets, oddly. And I can't figure that out. I can't put my finger on it. But this is really good. Wow. That is unbelievable. I'm gonna be wishing I could have this chocolate again. You know, this is the thing that happens. You know, you you think about it later. I'm gonna eat every bit of this chocolate. I'm gonna save this. Because it's bloomed, and I wanna experiment around with this thing a little bit, I'm gonna mix some into a, a hot drink. Here. Oh wow, that tastes like hot chocolate to some degree. Look at that. Dessert. Now it doesn't mix very well. Chocolate soup. Look how creamy and milk chocolatey that looks. That looks incredible, doesn't it? Oh wow, look at that. That looks awesome. Oh, I'm gonna get a little bite. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre, but it works. It, it does. You can make a hot chocolate out of this. Mm-hmm. Went into this one hungry, and I'll tell you, that's the way to do it, actually. Ugh. Wow. Okay, well, actually, I'm going to have a little more of that. That's a way to utilize this. It definitely worked to some degree. It tastes like milk chocolate with a grain added to it. Some kind of, like, kind of hearty grain. Look at that thing. Whoa. This is ridiculous. Here, let's fish that back out. Here we go. It's getting a little bit difficult at the end here. Ugh. 
That was super filling. I feel like that was a, a fantastic chocolate bar. Definitely a tropical bar. You know, it was designed to withstand tropical temperatures and it was a long lasting energy bar, essentially. So that was a World War II British Armed Forces emergency ration. This is Steve1989. I hope you all liked the video. I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.